and she do all this talking she like this and that boy and then like basically saying oh you we supposed to be cool and you just gonna keep this from me how do i know you wasn't talking about me with him and then and and i was like first of all we how are we cool? i'm not your friend hey guys my name is crystal and thank you all for tuning into chris codes if you haven't already hit the like button notification bell if you will comment subscribe and yeah stay tuned we're about to get right into it all right so this foolishness friday is gonna be about the time she wanted to fight me <laughs> so this was actually i think i was just turning 21 yeah so i was just turning 21 i was actually living in savannah at the time and um for most people that live on campus they have roommates so i had a roommate and she just loved having her best friend over and her best friend i thought was cool you know obviously we were like cool by association we, we weren't best friends or anything like that i just knew her because that was my roommate's best friend so this same girl um started talking to um a guy now it wasn't a guy that i was talking to but the guy i was talking with at the time um they were friends so of course it's always guy talk and just so happens i'm around i was around when they were having guy talk so i guess they knew I, i'm not i'm not really the gossipy type so they were talking about ironically they were talking about um her while i was there so i kind of heard some i guess you know sensitive information and me i wasn't trying to stir up any trouble i wasn't trying to gossip or do the most so I, of course i didn't speak of it i didn't speak on it i didn't tell her and i didn't tell anyone else so i'm not thinking i'm doing anything wrong okay okay so now that the backstory is out of the way we're gonna you know skip along to how this all began how the drama began so oh by the way if you all want to know what my lippy is it is the same mary Kay lippy i've done um a look similar to this in my makeup and a message mondays so you can tune in um i'll probably link the video somewhere but i use the same lippy just with the liner all right so yeah so i'm in my room and my best friend well, excuse me my roommate's best friend um they're both chit chatting and talking about this guy which was the guy that was you know running his mouth um they're like oh how dare he because i guess some word got around so obviously the guy i was talking to wasn't the only guy that he told so i'm guessing word got around and they're like yeah he's running his mouth he's this he's that and they're like and crystal can you believe that and see me thinking nothing of it i'm just like ryan you already knew what he was running his mouth about so i'm not gonna necessarily say what it was but it you know it was had it was sexual or whatever about her so i don't know what i said i don't remember what i said to tick this girl off but she found out i knew about it and didn't say anything so that was the whole commotion she's just like oh you're fake this that the third and i'm in my mind i'm just like how can i be fake if we're not friends you know <laughs> like i'm not your friend i'm not your friend okay so <laughs> next thing i'm not thinking anything of it i had to go to class so i left people start coming up to me after I leave class, because normally when I leave class, I go to what we used to call the U, which is like a calf, and we eat, we sit there, we eat, you know, chill. So people start coming up to me. Oh, I should give her a name. We'll just call her 
Fo. <laughs> We're gonna call her Fo just because it's like low key close to what her nickname is. So I'm just like, that's not her real name. It's, it was very close to her nickname. So we'll just run with that. So they're like, Fo wanna fight you. She was, no, she wasn't. I'm not gonna say she was ghetto, but you know, <laughs> she was very expressive. Woo! Ah, the ghetto! The ghetto. The ghetto. Yeah, we'll go with that. So she's like, um, everybody's like, Fo wanna fight you, Fo wanna fight you, no no no. And I'm just like, what for? Now keep in mind, I'm, most people that know me know I'm not a fighter. I don't do it. I'm not a fan, you know. Miss me with that. But I'm like, I'm not gonna go out like a punk, you know. <laughs> You're not gonna you're not gonna punk me, okay? You're not gonna punk me. That's not what we're doing. So I'm just like, okay, okay, I don't care. <laughs> I don't care. And I'm thinking, oh like, this chick really wanna fight me. Like, I didn't do nothing to her and all that. And um she's like, like so when I go back to my room, she's in my room, I act like she's not even there, you know. I'm on my bed doing homework out of my business and she's like when she leaves when she leaves though when she leaves <laughs> my one of my friends that um still go on campus one of my friends that was on campus she's like yeah she's still talking trash blah 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 so at this point i think either i text her or she texts me but i'm almost positive we were texting and i'm just like okay when and where when and where because at this point i'm about it you know i'm just like okay you telling everybody you want to fight you want the smoke let's bring the fight. smoke do you want to fight 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 do you want to fight, do you wanna fight? Do you wanna fight? <laughs> okay so now this is when I start to realize, like, okay, what have I done? Okay, because <laughs> I'm just like, she's a little bit, you know, like I said, expressive. And me, I'm like, not, all right? And I've been in one fight in my life, and we're not going to speak on it. <laughs> so I'm like, okay, what should I do? So I call my brother. I'm like, I call my older brother. I'm like, yeah, this girl wants to fight me. And... I need, you know, some quick lessons right quick. <laughs> you know what I could do. True story, y'all. True stories. I call I so I called him. My brother's like, yeah. And he's giving me pointers. Oh, you need to do this, you need to do that. And I'm like, yeah, yeah, okay, I could do that. I could do that. <laughs> and now at this point, I'm hyped, y'all. I'm like, yeah, so you know, I'm gonna I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna do that. And you know, I'm I'm gonna take her. I could take her, I could take her, you know. Y'all. <sighs> so, anyways, we agreed to meet um, near the upperclassmen housing. So, um, we met in what we call the commons. So, we met there, and she do all this talking. She like this and that, boy, and then, like, basically saying oh you we supposed to be cool and you just gonna keep this from me how do i know you wasn't talking about me with him and then nah, 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 nah. and i was like first of all we how are we cool? i'm not your friend not your friend we are not friends <laughs> you know you're friends with my roommate so when i walk in there what you want me to be like Ugh. we're not friends we're not friends you know now granted I'm an adult now, okay? So, do I know, I, did I have to be rude like that with her? Or so cold? No. I didn't have to do that. <laughs> but I did, you know, I did. So you, you live and you learn. But what I should have realized is she was hurt. There was rumors going around about her and someone that she's around a lot, you know, knew about it and didn't either say come like say anything about it when it, um it was being spoken of at the time or didn't even bother to tell her you know and 
I can see that perspective now. I can understand why she would be upset. Where me, I'm thinking, you know, I don't owe you anything. <laughs> I hate to say it. I hope I don't sound ridiculous. I don't know who this man is. I mean, he could be walking down the street. I wouldn't, I wouldn't know a thing. I don't owe you anything. So I, at the end of the day, it's still like, you got to look at other people's perspective. Now, did we need to fight over it? No, it wasn't that serious. <laughs> so anyways, let me continue with the story. So we get there and she's talking and this and that. And I was like, I was never your friend. I'm like, you're cool. <laughs> you're cool. But, you know, you we're not buddy. We're not pals. We're not cool. I don't know you. Next, you know, that was the attitude I had about it. I was just like, you know, what do you want to do? I'm done with the talking. I'm done with the talking. And she told talking and I thought we were cool. And then then it kind of like dawned on me like, okay. She's not really upset with me, you know? She's upset at the situation. She thought we were friends. She's more hurt than anything. So I kind of changed my tone. And I'm just like, you know, I don't like, like I said, I'm not here to talk. I said, but I don't really know why you're upset with me. And it's not like I was running around telling people your business and this and that. I was like, if anything, you should be mad at him. I said, we can check him. I'll check him with you. <laughs> Let's go, sis. <laughs> This is upsetting me and my homegirls. It's okay? upsetting me and my homegirl because we feel like we're dead. So y'all would be shocked, but that's literally how it went. She's like, you're right. And then, <laughs> this sounds like something off a sitcom, but this is legit how it happened. We ended up not fighting. We we went back up top, which, which is where like freshmen and people that aren't upperclassmen, so freshmen, go. And that's where we lived. And I don't know if we confronted him or what. I feel like we did. But like I said, this was quite a while ago. I'm acting like this was a whole decade ago. It wasn't. But I'm pretty sure we did confront him. I think he didn't care. <laughs> you know, but that's just, just what shows you, like, how childish, like, college, be for real, be like a big high school. And to this day, like, ever since then, I don't think I've ever gotten, like, real verbal just flat out arguments or anything that would escalate for that matter y'all the don't know me worth it i still see I, I know this is not my dad and this is not a message but i just want to say this and then i'll be done like when i see like the fighting and all that type of stuff oh i might do foolishness friday on that fight with um what the rapper's sister i'll be in the mix i don't know these people's name but the rapper's sister and some other girl rapper. Yeah, and then fighting and carrying on. When I say, you all look ridiculous. <laughs> you all look absolutely ridiculous. There is nothing attractive about fighting. You look absolutely ridiculous. This is gonna be another foolish Friday because I'm gonna do, I'm gonna I'm gonna talk about their their whole whole escapade <laughs> um, probably next either next Friday or the Friday after next but it was ridiculous. Anyways, I would never ever you would you would not catch me there <laughs> like fighting or being any any form of ratchet at my age at all. I'm talking like I'm like old old but I don't care. Like it's just not cute. But yeah, that was the end of the story. We didn't end up fighting. We actually, we, we never was like buddy-buddy again after that. Because you can't really just be buddy-buddy with a girl that wanted to, you know, beat you beat you up. Like, you just can't. And I don't know. It just doesn't, doesn't mesh well with me. But yeah, I kind of dismissed him after that. The, the guy that I heard it around and the guy she um, disliked didn't really mess with him either. Like... We weren't buddy buddy or anything like that and now she she's pretty much doing she's doing well um i don't talk to her like that like i think i've seen her on instagram like a few times but i don't even think i follow her but yeah that was the time that my roommate's friend tried to fight me <laughs> so i thank you all for watching um, if you haven't already, hit the like button, notification bell if you will, comment, subscribe, and yeah, see you all for the next Foolish Just Friday. Bye!